and welcome back to the channel it's sunny out but it's still coolish uh, we're sitting at 34 degrees and we have a wind chill of 23 as we're still trying to get rid of snow and ice uh, but it's getting better as you can see so on this video I want to talk about a bike that I've seen <clears throat> that is rather inexpensive but it also is a bike that is not going to have features that more expensive bikes have. So with that in mind, I'm going to tell you about this bike. And this bike is the Razor Rambler 16. It's a Scrambler style bike. It's small. The seat height is only 25.9 inches. It's a banana style seat. The motor is only 350 watts. Because I slip a little bit on some ice there. So the motor is only a 350 watt motor. But I'll give you the price in just a few minutes and you'll see why everything is the way it is so um so anyway there's a 350 watt uh rear hub motor it's lead acid batteries there's three 12 volt uh 36 volt total battery so there is that also And get through some of this ice here also there's a uh, the weight of the bike now all of this is coming off memory I believe the weight of the bike is 63.4 pounds and the bike only comes in one color So you don't have a choice of colors. So the color is not the greatest, but it does come in a tan color. And like I say, there's no other choice. That's the only one you get. And the wheels are only 16 inches. I don't know the width. I just know the diameter. Um, What else can I tell you about this bike? So it's kind of smallish, but if you're on a tight budget and you want a good starter bike, oh, I should give you the, uh, the speed. Did I say the speed already? I don't know if I did, but it goes top speed is 15.5. I don't think I did. 15.5 miles per hour and the uh, as I do a little slide again, the uh, kind of slick out here with it melting and all. The um, so the range is only eleven and a half miles. So it's a good bike for commuting short distance. So you're not going to want to go too, too far, obviously, on just 11 and a half miles. And usually, when companies give you these ranges, it's usually a little bit on the high end, if you uh, get my drift there. Most of them tend to uh, give you the high end 
on that so but anyway so that's some of the specs on the bike if you want to go for more specs you can go right to the razor.com website and check it out and for the purposes of this video because of the sale so the bike sells msrp is 659 dollars so it's not a real expensive bike that's why the specs are kind of low as they are so 659 dollars and but i'm going to single out a store that has it for a sale price of 599.99 and that's target they currently have the bike for one penny under six hundred dollars so not a bad deal if you uh if you just want a an inexpensive bike as i put my feet down there an inexpensive bike or maybe you have a a child like a youngster a teenager maybe that's looking you're looking to get them a bike and you don't want to spend a lot of money on a bike it's a good starter bike if you've never had one before and uh, like I say for $600 not too bad at all and like I say the best spot to buy it right now is at Target you'll save yourself about $60 or $59 I should say really you can also buy the bike at Best Buy too, but they don't have it on sale currently. It is the full $659. So Target is the place to buy it if you want to get it for the sale price. But not a bad little bike, you know, if you were just uh, wanting something to just rip around a little bit on. But like I say, that's why some of the specs are low because of the price. You pay basically you pay for what you know what you pay is what what you're gonna get. <clears throat> but not bad. I mean if I had a <clears throat> didn't have a bike and I didn't have a lot of money I wanted to spend on a bike, I'd probably go for that. Nice and sunny out here, but still on the cooler side. We're still trying to get back to normal here after the snow snowstorm from a few days ago. We're slowly getting there as the uh, sun melts the ice and then we get a refreezing for the next day. But definitely looking better now. I think it's more slick though when it melts off like this and you get water on top of the ice. It makes for a pretty good slippery ride for sure. So if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video you can just leave a comment in the comments below and I try to get to all the uh, comments and read them kind of hard to do sometimes but I try my hardest or my best to get get to them all or most of them Check out this road over here, see how we're doing now. Last time I looked at this road, it was awful, but it's looking much better now. Look at the bike lane there with ice on it there though. I'm just gonna turn around and go back this way though.
I still can't wait for spring. Some nice consistent sunny days. Get everybody out on their bikes. I mean, we're lucky to be able to ride our bikes at all because there's still a lot of folks that aren't able to ride their bikes yet. You can sure feel that wind there. Whew. On the camera, it probably looks beautiful, sunny sky, but uh, I can sure feel it when the wind kicks up. So that bike I was mentioning, the Razor Rambler 16, I will leave a link in the disc er, in the uh, descriptions below for the bike, and that'll specifically get you to the target site where the bike is the cheapest, uh, best deal. So you might want to take a peek at that. So that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. Thank you for tuning in and joining me on this ride. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and also if you'd like to purchase this Lyric Graffiti bike I do have a link in the description as well for this and if you click on that link and use the description or the discount code I should say Oregon e-biker mark that's all one word You will save yourself $150 off of the purchase of a bike. So that's all one word, Oregon e-biker mark. It'll save you $150. And also I've got in there a link for the helmet I'm wearing. That's the x Nito old school e-bike helmet. It's rated for class three riding up to 28 miles per hour. I do have a $15 discount code for this uh, helmet as well and a link to get you there and once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time take care